Welcome to this act of worship. There are a few times within the service for reflection. I'll leave some short pauses and you might wish to pause the service, take your own time for reflection, just as suits you. For the Bible reading, I'm going to be reading the words of Psalm 23. If you wish to read another passage like the Gospel for this week after that, again, feel free to pause the service, take your time for reading for reflection. I'm going to include a couple of short prayers in, in a little reflection I do after the reading of the psalm. Feel free to take a longer time in your own thoughts and prayers after that reflection. So grace, mercy and peace from God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, be with us all. Let's just take a moment to reflect on the parts of our lives that fall short of proclaiming the glory of God, the purposes of his kingdom. And so we pray, most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we've sinned in thought, word and deed. We've not loved you with our whole heart. We've not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been, help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. And so I invite you to just be still for a moment and know that God's love and mercy is there for us all. You may have a candle to light or might perhaps make the sign of the cross as a symbol of God's precious, gracious presence. I'm slightly cheating being outside lighting this candle. And so some words of scripture, Psalm 23. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod, your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Now in this service, there's no bread. Psalm 23 talks of a table prepared. Here, the pattern we might use in church is empty. In our present situation, there are many who worry about the provision of their daily bread. We hold them in our thoughts and prayers and also all those who are working to maintain the retail sector, those who are making sure their neighbours aren't going without basic needs. As we take the bread at the offertory in our normal communion service, I sometimes use these words. Be gentle when you touch bread. Let it not lie uncared for, unwanted. So often bread is taken for granted. There's such beauty in bread, beauty of sun and soil, beauty of patient toil. Wind and rain has caressed it. Christ often blessed it. Be gentle when you touch bread. And so gracious Father, as you nourish the people in the wilderness with the gift of manna, bread from heaven, so we pray that you would enable all your people to be nourished in body and spirit at this time of uncertainty, and that you would bless all those who in this time serve the needs of others. Amen. And as the pattern stands empty, so also there is no wine. The chalice stands empty. Psalm 23 speaks of a cup that overflows. Now in our present situation, there are many who are in places of fear and sadness. We hold them in our thoughts and prayers, and also all those who are working to maintain the health services, those caring for the physically ill, those who help us maintain our mental health. As we take the wine at the offertory at our communion service, I sometimes say these words, be joyful when you taste wine. They did not sour the heart and dull the senses. So often wine's poured without grace. There's such beauty in wine, beauty of laughter and living, beauty of truth and self-giving. Nature and man have caressed it. Christ once took and blessed it. Be joyful when you taste wine. And so, gracious Father, as Jesus turned water into wine at the wedding at Cana, so we pray that you would be present with all who sorrow and lift their burdens, giving them new joy and hope. And for all who die, we pray that they may find a place at the feast of your eternal kingdom. Amen.
you might like now just to take a moment of prayer. And as we offer our prayers to God in and through Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit, we give thanks to God for all his blessings and mercies in the words of the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you most humble and hearty thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness. We bless you for your creation, preservation and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And give us, we pray, such a sense of all your mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth your praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honour and glory, forever and ever. Amen. And as ever, we bind all our deepest prayers and thoughts, the ones we can't even find words for, in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son, you brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who are baptised into Christ's body live his risen life. We who will drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us, so we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we close our time of prayer, may the peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with us, remain with us always.